if it starts out saying it's the fundamental theorem of something, odds are that's pretty darn important. So let's take a really careful look at this. It starts off very easy. Every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic. Easy. However, it goes further. If the order of a subgroup generated by an element is equal to n, then the order of any subgroup of that thing is a divisor of n, and perhaps the most important thing, for each positive divisor of that number, the group has exactly one subgroup. That says a lot. It says that it has a subgroup of that order and that there's only one of them. And it even says what it is. It tells us what the generator would be for that subgroup. I'm not going to prove this. We'll see how it works in action. Let's consider the group Z12. So, obviously, the order of that is 12, and it's also generated by 1. So what that says is that for every divisor of 12, say for example, 2, so according to this thing, we're going to say for each divisor of that, so we're going to say effectively k is equal to 2. For k equals 2, there's one subgroup of order 2. And that subgroup is the subgroup generated by a to the 12 over 2 subgroup generated by I actually should say 1 to the 6th which is subgroup generated by 6 which would be the set 0 and 6 now What's interesting here is, let's actually look at a different k. If I were to look at k equals 6, there's one subgroup of order 6. And that would be subgroup generated by 1 to the 12 over 6. 1 squared because the operation's addition it's 2 and so that gives us the set 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. But now this thing works kind of recursively. Now that I've got this and I've got the subgroup generated by 2 which has order 6, I could apply it to that. There's one subgroup of this set right here, which is of order 3, because 3 divides into there. The subgroup of that, which would be of order 3, would be 2 to the 6 over 3, would be 2 to the 2nd, 2 plus 2 is 4, so we have 0, 4, 8. That's both a subgroup of this and a subgroup of the original group. What this kind of leads us to is that for at least a finite group, we can kind of put a ranking of subgroups. The full group is Z12, or the subgroup generated by 1. That has subgroups. Well, there are several subgroups, but I'm specifically going to focus on two of them. The subgroup generated by 2, and the subgroup generated by 3. This has 
order 6, this has order 4. The original has order 12. There are a couple of other subgroups. Again, we got more divisors of 12. We would have one which is of order 3. The one of order 3 is the subgroup generated by 4. There's a subgroup of order 2, which is the subgroup generated by 6. And then finally, there's a single subgroup, subgroup generated by 0. That's the only thing with order 1. By putting them into the kind of this lattice, it's a way of saying what subgroups of what else. This is a subgroup of this. It's actually a subgroup of anything that you can trace higher up the path on there. This subgroup is not a subgroup of this one though, though it is a subgroup of this and this. We call this thing a subgroup diagram or sometimes a subgroup lattice.